Hi everybody, thanks for tuning back in. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I came across something today I thought that could be helpful for a lot of you people who are trying to set up your Google Maps. So I'm gonna show you how to get a Google Map API key and get it working on Shopify. Okay, so Google Maps has changed considerably in the last couple of years. And what they've recently done, and this is recently going back six or seven months, is they have required billing information to be set up for their APIs. So people that are high users are the ones that are gonna be paying for it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go walk you through how to set up your Google API account. Now, keep in mind, there's a number of APIs that are still offered for free. Um, and when we set up this account, I'm gonna show you the two that you need to have enabled in your Google Cloud account so that it shows up on your Shopify site. So let me walk you through that now. All right, so step one is we need to set up an account. Now it's important that you set up an account um, underneath the Google username that you want to have the billing information go to. So if you have a Google account, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go and set up your billing. So if you go into, uh, go to googlecloud.com slash maps platform, that's the first place that we're gonna go. And you wanna make sure that you're logged in underneath your username. Now there's lots of videos out there that are gonna show you how to add billing and stuff like that. I will find one and list it down in the description. But once you've got your billing set up, what you wanna do is you want to go to the get started button right here in the middle. I'll also link, leave a link to the um, Google Cloud platform so you go and go right to it. So the first thing you do is you go to Google get Cloud platform and it'll ask you to get started. Um, once you've done that, you're gonna need to set up a project. So I have got a number of projects set up in here. I'm gonna go and create a new project. And I'm gonna give it a name of test map API. And we're gonna create that. Let's get rid of those notifications there. And then we're gonna to go to Map APIs. And there are two that we need to enable. So the first two that we need to enable in order to get the correct um, work the correct API working on Shopify is you need maps JavaScript API and you need the geo coding API so there's a bunch of ones that when you set this up initially it's going to try and um, activate all of them you can leave all of them set up if you want to but you don't necessarily have to um, I like to keep mine to the bare minimum so I don't accidentally get charged for something that is not something that I want to be using. So once you've set up the individual two APIs and added them to your account, you simply click on the API that you want to add. I'm not adding directions.api, but you click enable and it will add it to your account. So let's go back here to the dashboard and we're going to go into the actual API itself. Now you want to go over to credentials and under credentials, this is where you want to configure your new key. So I'm gonna go and configure a key now. So I'm gonna create credentials. I'm gonna configure an API key. This is gonna be the key that we're gonna be using. Don't worry, this key will not exist after this video is published. So we're gonna set that up and then we're gonna hit restrict key. Now under this restrictions of the key, so this we're gonna call this the demo key, demo key. All right, we want to restrict it under HTTP referrers. And we're gonna add our website URLs in here. Now there are uh, two website URLs you need to enter. So first is star.yourdomain.com. So I'm actually gonna put in assemble.ca because that's my domain. We're gonna add that one in there, hit done. But there's a second one you wanna add in here as well so that when you're previewing the map in the Shopify customizer, you are able to see it. So what you wanna do is you put in your Shopify address. Uh, there we go that the customizer will use to display it. And that way you can see the map when you're using the customizer. All right, once we've hit those two URLs in there, um, we can hit save and that will now enable the API to be used on our theme customizer. So you'll also get a green check mark here indicating that it is secured um, and you're gonna hit the copy API key. Now let's over to, head over to Shopify and we can have a look at what 
uh, where you're gonna put this key in place. Okay, I'm on my theme customizer now, and now what I wanna do is I wanna go to the contact page. So under the top here, we're gonna go to contact. We're gonna pull up the contact page. You'll see the sections have now updated and we're gonna to go to the new map block section that we've added. This is the map we wanna show. So on the right hand side, depending on the size of your screen, if you've got a smaller screen, it'll be over here. Uh, but I have a little bit of a larger one so you can see it here. Uh, we can go and paste in the new API key. And once we've pasted that API key in, we should show it up. Now you might not get it instantly because sometimes when you create a new API key, it needs time to provision across the network. So if your map doesn't show up immediately, give it two or three minutes for the key to update across uh, the Google network and then it should lock in. Okay, so that's basically how you add a Google API key to a theme that you've selected inside of Shopify. They've got documentation around it, but I found that it was just really, really tricky to figure out exactly which API uh, modules you needed inside of Google's console in order to get it working. So I hope that this video makes it easy for someone who's searching to figure out how to do it um, to make it easy for them to find it. That's it for me. Hope you guys have a lovely day and we will catch you guys in the next one.